Gargaros, or Akaoni, is a fire attribute boss yokai. His appearance is that of a red-skinned ogre with a golden horn on his head. Gargaros also holds an iron-studded club over his head and only appears during terror time. For those who have encountered this Gargaros, there is no doubt in their mind that he is definitely an S-ranked boss yokai. Gargaros' personality matches his appearance. He is ruthless and terrifying, and if your yokai party isn't strong enough, he will spare no time in wiping you out. In the anime, Gargaros chases children who have disobeyed their parents. This was the case with Keita when he left his house to get some cream bread, even though his mom specifically said he couldn't leave. It is no mystery to anyone that Gargaros or Akaoni originates from the Oni in Japanese folklore. Although when Oni is translated, it becomes demon or ogre, their origin is quite different from the demons and ogres of the West. Originally, Oni were invisible forces of power that were behind natural disasters. The on part of Oni means hidden. However, when they were influenced by Chinese Buddhism, the appearances of Oni were changed to be more physical and humanoid. They were then seen as either caretakers of hell or dangerous brigands that would terrorize villages. Also from China was the idea of Kimon, or the Oni's Gate. This was a story where there would be a gate in the northeast direction where evil spirits would enter the human world. The match between this direction and the Chinese zodiac would correspond to the ox and the tiger. And this is how the image of the Oni was formed. By combining the two animals of the zodiac while incarnating it to be the shape of a human. Though they are described to have the force comparable with natural disasters, Oni are also depicted to carry a club as a weapon. This has been pointed out by many people to be quite ironic and humorous. Why would you need a weapon when you are already so strong? This is where the phrase Oni ni kanabo came from, translated directly to be Oni with an iron club. This saying generally has the meaning overkill or superfluous advantage. The Oni have two portrayals. The first was as described above, that they are ruthless, dangerous, and bring terror and destruction wherever they go. The second, however, is that they are simply boisterous brutes that are quite honest and enjoy drinking, partying, and brawling. Who would have thought? It is said that the best way to impress an Oni is through battle, by showing them your strength, courage, and determination. So the next time you encounter an Oni during terror time, or after you've misbehaved, don't forget to channel your inner Goku and raise your power level. It's really your only way out. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can get our latest videos right away. Click over there for more videos. Loto is quite childlike and is very playful at the same time. His favorite food is milk if you want to become his friend. And who wouldn't want to become his friend after seeing his smile and aura of happiness? But be warned folks, Loto's power can make people lose all their money and become poor. That's right, it turns out Loto is based off of the Japanese kami of peace.